Am I like so Instagram? <laughs> and look, does it blur? Bitch, I think it does. Oh God. <clears throat> hey guys, uh, I'm in the middle of drinking a smoothie at the moment. So if you see green in my teeth, that's what it is. I've been guilty of this as well. I was an Instagram video clickbaiter. They say that the first step is admitting that you had a problem. And I will admit, I was an Instagram clickbaiter. I know, I know. About two years ago, I discovered Instagram videos, making them for myself. And in that discovery, I gained a lot of my following that way on Instagram and I used to go hard. I do love a good Insta video, I can't lie. I think that they are so fun to watch. I love the process of the whole makeup application and watching from the very beginning looking like this to the very end. However, there are some makeup techniques used on Instagram that are just not really, in my opinion, what I see a lot of people doing in their everyday life. You will never see an Instagram video that doesn't feature Farsali. It just doesn't exist. They don't exist, they are illegal. I don't make the rules. You also will never see a video where people aren't dripping shit down their face or contouring their lips and then covering it up with a color that literally doesn't even matter. I feel like the brand of Instagram is Huda Beauty. There are just certain key things that when it comes to Insta videos, I feel kind of everyone does. So today I'm going to be making an Insta video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing the techniques that I see a ton of people use all the time. I'm gonna let you know if they are a waste of your time, if they make my skin look good, or if at the end of this video, I look so incredibly cakey. Maybe I'll look incredible, maybe I won't. I also see everyone doing the unibrow brows. You know what I'm talking about? You, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of baking. A lot of makeup, a lot, a lot of makeup. I feel like the main thing that is always so confusing to me, I see people on Instagram, they put so much foundation on, and I don't care, you do you. If you wanna put like eight layers of foundation on, it's fine. But then at the end, you're like, oh, they're gonna look so cakey. And they look absolutely stunning. How do you not look makeup-y? I'm gonna see if I can be beautiful today. By the way, this smoothie, so vibrantly green, so disgusting, but so healthy. If you guys are excited to see this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I had my first viral tweet. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. It was weird. You may have seen it. It was about being a outfit repeater. It was weird and I'm excited about it because I've never had a viral tweet before and it was really kind of cool, so. That's all I'm gonna say. We wanna wear the same things over and over again, okay? And we don't wanna feel bad about it. Do I wanna wear my denim jacket with pearls on the back all the time, only exclusively? Yes. Am I going to do that? Yes. And follow me on Instagram because I will likely be posting this video as an Insta video so you guys can see the whole finished thing. It's one minute long and I'm gonna do everything that I see everyone doing on the gram. I feel like the first thing I need though, I need some nails. Oh, it comes with glue. Do I wanna glue my nails on? Not really. I feel like I can't do an Insta video unless I have like super amazing nails. I don't do my nails anymore, so they're all different lengths. I just quit giving a shit. I like it at times, it's like not so bad, but then like going to the nail salon every week, it's just like, <laughs> this is what my hands look like right now. Like, so I'm gonna stick these on real quick. I could only be bothered to do one hand. This is the only hand you guys are gonna see anyway. Am I like so Instagram? <laughs> It's so weird to have nails. Oh, you can see my real nail under there. I used to do fake nails consistently. Like I would go and get acrylics every week and they were pointy like this. They literally look so much like this. Yeah, these used to be my nails and now I just cannot be bothered. I can't do anything. I can't type. I can't play guitar. I can't do anything with these like this. So we're gonna move on. It does make you wanna point at shit though. It makes you wanna be like, you don't even, don't you, me? All right, my friends. Maybe I should do the other hand. I will do the other hand. How did I make a fist? Not that I make fists all the time, but I'd like to be able to, okay? Who do you think you are, okay? If you guys like these nails, by the way, these are the Kiss Glam Fantasy. Okay, so I feel like the first step that I always see in an Instagram video is these. These are the Farsali Skin Tune Blur and Unicorn Essence. And I feel like I have to point. 
Skin Tune Blur is a perfecting primer serum. Unicorn Essence is skin enhancing antioxidant serum. You know what? I don't know what either of those things actually do. I don't know how I'm gonna open anything with these nails. So I've purchased a Farsali product in the past and I got the Rose Gold Elixir and I returned it because I feel like it legitimately did nothing. It smelled like orange. It made my makeup, I feel like apply and behave odd. And it just felt like a huge, gigantic waste of money to me. This is, I think like 50 bucks these are, so they are crazy expensive. They'll like use it five times throughout the video. They'll use it to put their skin, they'll mix it with their foundation, they'll drip it on their lips, they'll drip, they'll mix it in with their lipstick. I'm, it's just like, I don't know, unless these products are just like fucking mind-blowingly amazing, but maybe I'm just a pessimist and I think that may be the case. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the Farsali Unicorn Essence. My skin is doing so well lately that it, I get a little nervous trying out products that I don't know. I do see that dimethicone is an ingredient in these and that I don't like. All right, ready for the next step? The next thing that I feel like is such a huge Instagram trend that I don't know where it came from. I don't know why people do it, but I'll give you the reasons that I have seen for it and I'll let you know if I find it to be actually helpful. So that is when people are doing their eyebrows and they do the unibrow in the center and connect the brows that way. They carve everything out with concealer and they actually put product here on the center of their eyebrows. I think personally, and I'm just being honest, I think it's a clickbait technique, but maybe I will be proven wrong today when I try it out myself. I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Chocolate. And mine is all dried up, so I'm actually gonna drip some Farsali into it. Why not? And <laughs> we're dripping it into everything else. Did that change it? Absolutely not. Let's see if we can get this video to go viral on Instagram. I don't blame anyone for doing it either. I used to do it too. Like I, even still, I would probably still do similar thumbnails like I used to do. I used to try to make myself look as confused as humanly possible. Like, <gasps> That was the clickbait Instagram trend back in the day. Why am I so confused by this eyebrow? Okay, well I can safely say that dripping the Farsali into that absolutely ruined it. <laughs> that turned it into this. This is the consistency we've got here. Don't do that. I lost a nail. Hold please. if it's just like meant to make your brows more even or what the whole purpose is or if it's just to make people want to click you while i do feel a little helga pataki i also feel like these might be more even than my normal brows are hmm. look. Now for concealer, I'm going to conceal my brows. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. I've never used this before, so this will be a first impression at the same time. And I'm going to carve out my brows. Concealer is very full coverage. By the way, this shade is meringue. When I think of Instagram, I literally think of Huda Beauty. Tell me if you guys are the same. Like I feel that the brand is made specifically for Insta videos. I'm gonna prime my lids with this as well, might as well. Football head. 
I 100% should not be drinking this smoothie while filming this video. All right, we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell the same joke four times. It's gotta hit. There's gotta be one that works. All right, we are primed and ready to go. And I think it's time for eyes. So today, again, Huda Beauty is the brand of Instagram, if you ask me. They are in every single Instagram video. I'd be hard pressed to find a single video that doesn't at least show one Huda Beauty product. I feel like they scour Instagram and send everyone PR. So I'm gonna be using Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. If you guys wanna see a full review on this, I will link it up here, by the way. And I'm gonna dip into this shade up here. Blend out the outer edge. I'm gonna take a little love bite and I'm gonna run that through crease a little darker. And I'm gonna go with the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Eyeshadow and I'm gonna go with the shade Bubblegum. Cut that crease, bitch! That shade worked like absolute shit. You guys remember I used these in that first impressions video and I really, really, really enjoyed these, but this shade just looks very patchy and you can see a lot of the skin underneath instead of having like a really heavy pigment. This one's just looking really not good. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of pink champagne. Kind of take it over the top of that. That one is much better. I'm trying to pat this over the edge of the shimmer to like cover it and it's just looking so gross. Look at that. Ew. Covering this shitty little edge here with some of the shade Fantasy from the palette. All right, and in true Instagram video style, I lost a nail on that snap. All right, my eyes are done, and now I'm going to put on some eyeliner. This is the Benefit Roller Liner. I lost another fucking nail. These suck. <laughs> I glued the wrong nail on, but we're ready to continue. So now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Liner, and I'm gonna do a wing liner. All right, liner is done, and now I'm gonna toss on a pair of lashes. I am not sure what style I'm gonna use, something really big, maybe I'll go in with these ones. These are the style Chloe from The Makeup Shack, and I will be right back, and we are gonna move on to the rest of the face. I lost another nail. All right, that is the eyes done. I'm gonna take a wipey without one of my nails popping off, preferably. Clean up the fallout. I just lost another nail and I will kill everyone. <laughs> So if we're gonna move on to the skin, the first thing I need to do is use more Farsali. I'm gonna go in with the Skin Tune Blur. Well, that shit is sticky. Whoa, really sticky. I didn't expect that. 
kind of like gluey. What the shit is this stuff? Dude, it legitimately on my forehead right here feels like I put Elmer's glue on my skin and it's just really sticky. Do you feel like it's blurring? All right, now I'm gonna do something I have never done before. And I'm gonna do this because I see people all the time do this on Instagram and I have to know why. They put red underneath their eye. Oh, now it's like soft. Now it feels like, oh, weird. Oh, weird. It like dried down and now it feels like dimethicone very much like the Benefit Professional. And look, does it blur? Bitch, I think it does. Did this blur me? Oh wow, it really does blur. It's so weird. Like my pores on my nose that are absolutely giant. I feel like it really did blur them down. I feel like I'm gonna break out so bad. I'm already like starting to get a zit right here. I'm gonna go wash my face the second this video is done. Wow, I really do feel like that did blur. I wonder how this would be underneath makeup. Maybe it's good. It gets good reviews, I think. I always just thought it was a gimmick because you know, Instagram. I'm going to put some lipstick underneath my eyes and I'm gonna do a red because I always see people canceling out their dark circles which I don't have super dark circles with red I'm gonna try it anyway even if this is a bad idea I gotta do it for the gram oh my god please don't stain my skin I'm gonna try another bit of a dark red. This is MAC Russian Red. When I see other people do this, they coat their face in foundation afterwards and then their under eyes don't have any darkness to them. So we'll see if I'm one of those people or if this stains my under eyes red for the next like few weeks. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so I did the skin tune blur. I feel like I need a little more unicorn essence because you know what? There's never enough. All right, now I'm gonna use this foundation. I just got this. So it appeared to me when I went to Sephora that Beauty Blender had expanded their foundation range for the Bounce Foundation. If you guys don't remember this foundation, oh boy. When the world saw it and saw their abysmal range with the oranges and the very, very lacking diversity, they made that very, very well known and people were not fucking happy and rightfully so. And when I went into Sephora, it appeared that they had actually expanded their range quite a bit. I think when they launched initially, there were 32 shades and now there are 40 and they did expand the deep line a lot. It is a lot more of a balanced range now. So if you guys were wondering, I saw that for myself in Sephora. So I'm gonna try it today and see how it is because the finish of it did look nice when people were talking about it. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation and I see this all over Instagram. So you turn this guy here, you click this over, and then you pump it out. Mm, what a cool way to dispense foundation, I gotta say. And I'm gonna dip my beauty blender in, and let's go in. People on Instagram are not shy about using foundation. It doesn't matter if you have perfect skin. It doesn't matter. Use 18 pumps minimum. The coverage on this is beautiful. All right, and this is the point where the unibrow must go. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a reaction. This could be from the Farsali, I'm not sure. But I don't, I didn't have that before, I don't think. Yeah, I'm breaking out. I can already see it right here. The coverage is nice on it, but it definitely looks a little cakey. That's okay, because we're gonna add like 18 more layers of concealer. So I'm actually gonna use more of the Huda Beauty concealer from before, and I'm gonna use the shade Peanut Butter in my contours. Cause that's the Instagram way. And then. Just 
These products smell like perfume real, real strong. I feel like my skin's gonna react so bad to this and my skin's been so good lately. All right, beauty blender, blend it in. Actually, you know what? A little more Farsali. <laughs> Let's just, you know, nothing can hurt at this point. It's all about undisclosed sponsorships. Gorge. When in doubt, more concealer. God, I gotta tell you, this is a mask of makeup, but I do feel like on camera at least, it's coming off not bad. In person, however, let's take a look. Mm, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, if I'm being honest. I need more concealer. As far as the amount of product on my skin making my skin look cakey, I am absolutely shocked to say that it does not. However, does it feel like I'm wearing eight layers of makeup? Oh yeah. But it really actually looks quite perfect. So I can see why people do this. I feel like I'm even getting some bumps on my under eyes that were not there before. Oh my God, yeah, I'm 100% breaking out. That wasn't there either. This whole patch of, I'm gonna turn the lights down a little bit so you guys can see the bumps. So there's bumps right here in my under eye. This whole area is like breaking out. Down here is getting bumpy. This guy wasn't there. Things are like coming to the surface and I'm not happy about it. And I also can't determine what product it is because I've got 87 products on my skin. So as far as the red on my under eyes goes, like I can 100% see it. I feel like through this foundation and concealer. But you know what? Let's just coat it with more powder. Today, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Pound Cake. This is one of her powders. I like the eyeshadows and stuff, but I don't know. I feel like the face products are definitely more full coverage. I'm more of a natural dewy bitch. I'm gonna just dip in. We are gonna bake today. Oh, this is heavily scented. Why do you scent your makeup, dude? Why? I do feel I look a little bit insta-snatched. For bronzer, I've got the MAC Give Me Sun, and I'm going to bronze up my face. I'm gonna use NARS Orgasm Blush. And I feel like this is a true Instagram staple. The Anastasia Beverly Hills and Omrizi highlighter. Oh my God, this doesn't perform for shit on top of powder. That's so the Instagram way. Oh my God, I can't believe how glowy this highlighter I use every day is. Let's dust off this bake. I'm gonna finish off my eyes. All right, and for the final step, the lips. We need more unicorn essence. Oh God. <clears throat> mm, not dry looking at all. All right, and this is my least favorite part of everybody's makeup routine on Instagram. Now this is the lip contour part of Instagram where I have seen so many people contour their lips, which is fine. But what I see so many people do is they will contour their lips and then use a darker liquid lipstick on top of it. So you literally can't even see the lip contour. Like you can't see it. It's like they'll use like a light colored pencil, do all this lip contouring, and then they like use a dark red over the top and it's like, Wasting your time. So I'm gonna waste my time today in BRB. They do look at X. It, it certainly doesn't look like that though. Mm. 
Our lips are so contoured. All right, once that's dried down, I'm gonna throw a little gloss over the top. This is Bronze Venus Lust Gloss from Pat McGrath Labs. I've never used it before, but I'm so excited too. And the final step of our makeup routine today is to spray my face with a little Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Never used this before. That's a nice mister, holy shit. Oh my God. Microfine mist, yes. And this is the finished Instagram video. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed. And now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you wanna be. And I can feel but you love for me. Take me to a place I'm calling for. Open up the doors, I'm knocking on. No, oh, oh, oh. I'm losing control. Oh, oh. All right, you guys, and this is the finished makeup look here. I'm gonna give you guys my final rundown on how I feel about a full face of Instagram makeup. Okay, besides my skin reacting right here, my skin definitely looks far more makeup-y in person than it does ever, ever. You guys cannot see it on camera. I know that some people get annoyed when people say that. Cameras, beauty lights, lenses, all of those things contribute to a better looking outcome. I look better on camera right now than I look in person. It's just a fact. I actually really like the way that my under eyes look right now quite a bit. That concealer seems to work really well. I thought I was gonna hate it and right now I'm actually really liking it. I feel like I might start setting my under eyes again because I do feel like when I don't set my under eyes, it accentuates my eye bags a bit. Not my eye bags necessarily, but like you can see the line here, like the eye dip in. And I feel like when I powdered today and everything like that, you really can't. This powder seems to perform really well. Honestly, a lot of the products I use today, I feel like are working really well with my skin. I was thinking it was gonna look like total shit at the end, and I'm quite surprised with how it doesn't. Maybe there's a reason people on Instagram do this makeup. I'm pretty impressed with the way that everything worked out. I don't know about these guys or if these are what is making my skin react right now. I do have a lot of this stuff on my skin right now, but here's the thing. I think that's something in this that may be aggravating my skin. I don't know, I can like feel my skin. It doesn't quite feel right. It doesn't feel hideous or anything, but I do feel like there are some areas that are starting to kind of pop up. So I'm gonna go take this off immediately. I do feel beat, beat. To fuck. I feel like I look flawless. Like this skin is so flawless. The Beauty Blender Foundation, I am going to try that again because as of the first time using it, if I were to just use way less of it than I use today, I feel like I would really like it. The finish of it seems really nice and dewy. I even powdered my forehead and it still like has some shine coming through. I don't like liquid lipstick, so I would never wear this liquid lipstick again, but I do like this gloss a lot from Pat McGrath. Like how absolutely stunning is that? You guys can't even see the duochrominess of it on camera, but it is honestly gorge. Let me know, do you guys use these? Have you ever used these and do you think they work I do feel like the skin tune blur did blur my skin I have not used primer in a really long time so I, I mean I'm happy with the way that my face looks right now again it does look makeupy in person but as far as it just like looking good if I would wear this to an event I, I feel like my skin looks really nice and I think I'm gonna end up bringing some of this makeup with me to LA when I go next week. I'm going back to LA again. You know what? Maybe my under eyes look good because I use the red. Did that really cancel out any like discoloration under my eyes? 
because that certainly could be it. That is something I've never done before. Maybe I'll try that out again in the future. I do feel like my under eyes look really nice and bright. I look really awake and hydrated. <laughs> And we all know that's not true. The lip contouring, I feel like is such a waste of time, no matter what. I feel like the only time I've seen lip contouring work is when you use like say a nude pencil and you contour the lips with that and then use like a clear gloss or like a light colored gloss over the top to where you can still see some of the lip contour in there. But so many times I see people do like this intense lip contour and they are like working it. They're putting lines all over their lips. They're making the lips look nice and full with liner. And then they cover it all up like this with a dark liquid lipstick. And then I feel like it completely defeats the points and wasted your time. But you know what? This may make me reevaluate hating powders. Because you know what? I did a video, which I will link up here, and I was comparing the way I used to do my makeup, which is a lot more like this, versus the way I do my makeup now, which is so different from this. And you know what? I think I'm gonna start kind of doing little combos of things here instead of just being like, no, this is how I do it now. I do not set my concealer. I don't do anything. I think I'm gonna start kind of testing things out and not being so hard headed about doing things the way that I know work for me because so many of you guys in the comments were like, bitch, I like the way you used to do it better. And I'm like, Heck fucking excuse me. But you know what? It actually made me look and be like, okay, I see what you're saying. And like this with so much product on my face, it really doesn't look that bad. Okay, some of these techniques, I don't know where they came from, I don't know how they started, and I don't know why people started doing things the way that they do, but you know what? To get this outcome, I think there are a few steps that are added in that were re not really necessary, like if I'm being honest. Like the doing the brow thing, like do you feel like my brows are more even than they usually are? If you do, let me know. I think it's more of a clickbait thing, but hey, it may not be. This product, I am definitely gonna continue using, although it does have a fragrance to it. This has probably the finest mist of any sprayer I've ever used on my skin ever and the fact that you don't have to spray it you just hold it down oh wow i really didn't know if i was gonna like this or not but shit and that is the finished video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this video was just meant to be fun not poking fun at anyone if somebody wants to do their makeup one way and i do my makeup another way you do your makeup however you want to if you like to do 85 steps i think it looks beautiful if you like really minimal makeup just a little bit of mascara that's beautiful too reason i laugh at instagram is because i feel like there is not even just like an algorithm when it comes to instagram but like within the people who make the videos like these are the things these are the points I have to hit on Instagram in order to make a solid repostable Instagram video. And you know what? It works. It really does work. A little bit of clickbait, never hurt anybody. Well, that's not true. Well, fuck, I don't like being wrong, but I feel like I was a little bit wrong. What do you guys think? Do you think this makeup looks nice? Let me know in the comments. Also, subscribe if you have not yet, and give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of video. And I will see you at my next video. These little fuckers don't want to pop off. Literally, they're off the entire video and they won't come off now. So, that's awesome. It's awesome that this is my life now. This is who I've become. God help me. Who do you think you are? I lost a nut. I lost a nail. The world shit their drive away, you bitch. So it is a lot more of a balanced drink. This smells like Sephora. If it'll come out. Hello? How many times am I going to do this? Well, this foundation, oh, come here, you beauty blender. This foundation mm, cuts out and shows the perfectly burnt, oh, my eyebrow. No! Get out of my eyebrow, you bitch. Shit. Oh, shit, I used the contour. Oh. Don't cry, Douglas. They're very scented, and I think that's something that my skin's really annoyed about. I think that's something that my skin's really aggravating. I think that's something